How long does it take to fully charge your phone? Taking the latest iPhone 14 as an example, it takes more than an hour, while the Android lineup generally takes about 30 minutes. But if it takes less than 10 minutes for a phone to be fully charged, and the charging time can be calculated in seconds, I believe it should be able to scare quite a few people. And this is not a concept machine with laboratory results. This Realme GT Neo 5 with the title of Full Level Instant Charging, is the world's first mass-produced machine with a charging power of 240 watts. How fierce is it? We'll see right away. After simply unpacking, activating, and setting up, I drained the Realme GT Neo 5 to low power without stopping. Picking up the 240 watts charger that comes with the box, I feel a little surprised. Such a high power charger is almost the same size and weight as the previous generation 150 watts charger. At the same time, the charging cable is also exquisite. In the settings battery menu, choose to turn on smart fast charging, so that you can successfully activate the 240 watts full level second charging of Realme GT Neo 5. In a normal room temperature environment, start the off-screen charging test from the front display of 1% power, and turn on the screen every 1 minute to record the current front power. In the end, it took 9 minutes and 40 seconds, and a notification popped up at the front desk, that the charging was complete. I was pleasantly surprised to be able to successfully run within 10 minutes. From the specific charging data, it can be seen that when the power is below 40%, Realme GT Neo 5 can maintain a high power charge, and it only takes 3 minutes to charge from 1% to 42%. In terms of battery life, Realme GT Neo 5 can be said to be a long-lived version. After 1600 complete charge and discharge cycles, the battery capacity is still not less than 80%, and this level of data is fully twice the industry standard. Cooperating with AI smart charging technology, it can intelligently identify various charging scenarios, so as to achieve fast charging and longer life. Although the trendy appearance of Realme has always been well received by young people, but at the same time it must take into account the sense of technology of the GT Neo series. This is indeed a lot of problems for the designers of Realme GT Neo 5. In fact, the Realme GT Neo 5 succeeded. Back to the moment when I just flipped the back cover of the phone, I was really amazed by this touch of purple. The official name of this color scheme is Purple Domain Fantasy. As a Marvel fan, the first thing that comes to mind is Thanos. Does it also imply the profound strength of Realme GT Neo 5? On the whole, this Thanos purple is quite eye-catching. Friends who are tired of the classic black and white color scheme, may wish to try this color scheme, which is aggressive and beautiful. The back cover of the phone is made of a whole piece of glass. At the same time, a new generation of diffuse reflection ag glass technology is used. The frosted particles are relatively fine. The track double stripes of the GT Neo series and the Realme and Dare to Leap logos are all treated with a bright surface, which is particularly conspicuous in the entire highly saturated purple back cover. But to say that the highlight of the whole back cover appearance of the GT Neo 5 must be the transparent area on the right side of the metal camera module. Not only can it display the inside of the phone, including the Snapper Gen 8 Plus Gen 1, NFC, motherboard positioning screws, etc., but I also thoughtfully added an RGB ring breathing light inside. The front of the Realme GT Neo 5 is a 6.74 inch AMOLED flexible straight screen, which supports 1.5K, 2772 x 1240 resolution, and 2160Hz ultra high frequency PWM dimming. It has fineness, color, power consumption, and eye protection in one. At the same time, each screen has been calibrated at the independent display level before leaving the factory, so that the color display of each screen is more accurate. With an ultra-high brightness of up to 1400 nits, the Realme GT Neo 5 can still display clearly enough under strong outdoor light. In addition, Realme supports intelligent self-adaptation of 7-speed refresh rate, and can intelligently switch different refresh rates according to different usage scenarios, and the power consumption is smooth. It also provides four levels of application refresh rate customization, and each application can be set individually. For me who likes to increase the global refresh rate, this is indeed a good feature point. Recently, everyone has set off an upsurge of large memory, and Realme GT Neo 5 immediately followed up. The one in my hand is the top version of 16 gigs and 1 terabyte. With the real whirlwind memory engine, there is no lag in multi-application switching during use, and the game starts very quickly. In an Antutu test, Realme GT Neo 5 scored 1,119,913 points, ranking in the forefront among all the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 models we tested, once again verifying the performance strength of Realme GT Neo 5. In the two popular mobile games, Glory of the King and Genshin Impact, in addition to the normal frame rate fluctuations of switching games, Realme GT Neo 5 measured 119.1 FPS and 59.7 FPS respectively. Thanks to the blessing of the ICE Core Dual Phase Heat Dissipation System Max, the body heat is not obvious in the two long-term game frame rate measurements. I believe that if you play black games for a longer time every day, it will not have much effect on the control feel. 
Some users still have the impression of the imaging capabilities of the Realme GT Neo series, but from the imaging hardware specifications of the Realme GT Neo 5 this time, it can be seen that Realme attaches great importance to this. Realme GT Neo 5 is equipped with the Sony IMX890 main camera of the same model as the video flagship, and with the newly upgraded HyperShot 2.0 imaging architecture of Realme, the photo of Realme GT Neo 5 is actually not inferior to many video flagships. The overall image photos of Realme GT Neo 5 is more vivid, and combined with optical image stabilization, the film production rate is quite high in daytime scenes. Especially in the afternoon when the outdoor sun is strong, the samples taken by Realme GT Neo 5 are very pleasing and rich in details. The 240 watts full-level second charge of Realme GT Neo 5 not only successfully shortens the charging time to 10 minutes, but also subverts my new understanding of battery life. Charge fast, it turns out that you can really be so capricious. It may be set before that fragmentation time charging requires a washing time, but for Realme GT Neo 5, it should only need a washing time. We know that the maximum charging power limit of the Type-C interface is 240 watts, but after the Realme GT Neo 5 successfully launched the 240 watts full-level second charge, the only thing that can limit the Realme flash charge is the Type-C interface. At the same time, Realme GT Neo 5 is also a well-rounded player. Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 flagship chip, diffuse glass body, Sony IMX890 main camera, Realme GT Neo 5 can be called a small bucket phone. Whether you want to experience the thrill of the shortest charging time at present, or you just want to purchase a light flagship without short boards for use, Realme GT Neo 5 will be a good choice. Thank you for watching this video, what do you think about the new phone, write your opinion in the comments below, have a nice day and see you soon.